to enjoying your blended family. Heck yeah. Be fun, fam. Fun Fridays. Fun Friday. FF. You're always trying to make it into something. I'm trying to make, there's got to be something that's cool. First you wanted the just, theme song, yeah. and now you're trying to... What's up, FF? It's the <laughs> FF Nation. No? Is I that going to stick? I don't want to be a Debbie Downer and always shoot your <laughs> dreams down, but it's just... Just call Fun Friday is catchy enough. Yeah. But may, maybe we need a flag or oh, something. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway. Like, a flag, right? Remember in school when you would do that, like N E. Oh, yeah, you kind of mixed the. Oh, yeah. Like, I was like, thinking like you would like mix the numbers together or something or the letters to make, to it tag it like it was a tag or something. We need a tag. We need a fun Friday tag. Okay, we gotta figure this stuff outside of our <laughs> <laughs> recording. <laughs> Not as soon as we push record. It's so much Anyways, better in the moment. Welcome, B fam. <laughs> it's Fun Friday. We have another fun idea for you and your family. Come to the FF Nation. Oh, I'm gonna keep trying. Is it, something's gonna stick? Something's gonna keep work. Keep trying. Something's gonna work. And I bet there are people that are just like you that enjoy that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they might even come up with something with me. If that's you. And if so, we're going to form a group. If that's you. We're going to call it the Fun like, Friday group. Send we're going to be the message. FFs. And we might do like, like an outing or something. I'm trying to help you here. <laughs> we're going to walk down the street with the flags and FF. Send us a message and say, Randall, you are my people. And this is what I will go on that call. walk with you. Yes. But in the meantime. Yeah. Okay. Let's tell them what this week's idea is. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. This week's idea is movie nights. Movie nights. It's a movie. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> I'm just not as cool as you, I guess. That's the problem. That's I'm bitter. I'm just bitter. Because uh, I went to cool school. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm not going to say that I passed, but I was there. You were pretty I was cool. there. You're pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I really was. And I was like a nerd in school. No, you weren't. I really was. I really was. But that's another day, another topic. I would lay on the couch and explain that to everybody. We do talk <laughs> about, though, like, I don't know, you and your There's spouse, back in school. when y'all met. It like, was so hard. <laughs> if y'all were high school sweethearts or if you met later in life. And Randall and I, you know, coming from um, both being divorced before, we both married our high school sweethearts. Um, and then divorced and then met each other in mid 20s, almost 30 for you. Oh, ouch. Oh, mm, <laughs> Just, mm, knife. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we were a little more established and changed. We had changed a lot. We've grown from who we, we were in high we school. We were a little more mature people. And if we would have met in high school, we would not have been attracted to each other during that time frame because he was like well, a skater Well, she wouldn't boy. have been attracted to me. I probably would have been attracted to her, but she just... You think? Yeah. Oh. You just wanted to like my jam. I wasn't really into like the skater boys, though. Um, who sings the song about skater boys? That's Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne. Skater boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked her music, but... You know, I wasn't like, my eyes weren't looking for skater boys. And he was like nose ring and um, gauges in his ears and chain wallets. My pants down to my knees. Well, um, I liked kind of like rapper guys. <laughs> and so I would have liked the pants down to your knees. It was all jinkos back in the day. And the it bigger, was the, the 90s. So. Better. Yeah, so. Sticking with the theme of movie night. <laughs> Taking um, it back to a 90s movie theme night. Do, uh, yes. Okay, so it is, these aren't just your regular movie nights that we're talking about here. We're talking about, I mean, you can do a regular movie night if you want to be boring, whatever. But <laughs> we're talking about like spicing up your movie night a little bit and doing something themed related. So when we first started these movie nights, we were doing more like your Disney theme um, kid related movies even though our kids were kind of older but for them it's still more like nostalgic just because those were the things they grew up on so I would pick a movie and we'd watch that or you know we would cook dinner around that theme and just the whole night would be like associated around that um, but you could like take this all different kind of directions 
So you had it planned to every movie, just, just kind of not, let, let's back it up just for a moment. Let's back it up. So what we would do is, is she would come up with a, a movie, kind of kind of one maybe the kids hadn't seen, that was a movie maybe we saw back when we were young that really stood out to us, or maybe as a classic. Uh, we we went all the way from Disney to, you know, uh, Oh yeah, what was that one? We All did the American the outsiders. We we've, we've done. Um, what was the one that? No, no, no. Well, I think you saw like American something. American what? The one where we did like the baskets and the where they the drive-in movie. Uh, no, like a Sonic. It was kind of like a Sonic, and they went American Graffiti. Maybe? No. Oh no, we did do American Graffiti. Yeah, yeah. was that it? No, yeah, but we had I had never seen American Graffiti. Oh okay. So I don't think any of us had seen American Graffiti, but we knew it was a classic. And it was like, why haven't we watched this then? Because we love movies. Uh, I, I think we're, you know, most people do. We love Everybody stories. Likes a good and, story, yeah. And so yeah, it was, it was something that we tried to do as a family. So it, it, you know, we would we would do a, maybe once a month or, or whatever. We would try to we would try to do a movie theme night. And so we knew the movie. We'd pick one out. We talked about it, and sometimes we would get the kids opinions on it as well just saying hey yeah. you know what what are some movies or maybe we had a selection and said out of these what would you most want to watch and we take you know majority vote and and then we would take that so we knew the movie coming up and you did such an amazing job yeah at... then i would do just like a little research um i even found a book on i think that's what sparked it was i found a book on amazon that gave you some ideas too on movie nights and so that's what sparked my creativity into doing what we had started doing now. But yeah, I would do like just a Google search on like what were some foods they had there and like the movie American Graffiti yeah. was like based around them like going to like a like an old like soda shop kind of Sonic. Yeah, soda shop Sonic vibe, stuff that back drive in the 50s. Type, type so I got like went down to the Dollar Tree and just got like these those red baskets, like the picnic kind of style and the ketchups and the the mustards and yeah. we just um did food like burgers and fries and then we did shakes um to go along with it so it's like whatever was in the movie you know every movie has some type of food or something in it so she would do a really good job at at trying to pick that out and then just theme it for that so that's what we had for dinner that's uh just the the vibe that we had in the room even like looking on spotify because we did one that was um like an old movie uh, maybe italian based or something and then like went and found that music to listen to like while i was cooking dinner and so just adding in these little pieces maybe there's a game that goes along with it so um there's all these different things you can do so oh that is true because there were some that maybe there was a game or something that was in there and so we would play that game maybe before dinner or after dinner or so, yeah. Something to that nature. So it was really whatever kind of stood out in there or something that you could pick out yeah. that you would just incorporate that in your evening. So And it just gives you a little different idea of things, out, not just a movie where you're sitting and nobody's talking. Because that is the bad thing about movies. We all love movies, but you don't get to conversate during that time. So I was taking that and then just pulling little pieces that would like just give us ideas on things to do. Um, but then I began to create some movie nights, and so um, we'll be sharing those along with you just on um, our social media and on Pinterest and stuff that you can do. And you can just, like, pick. It's like a list of things that go along with that movie. And, um, you know, a food idea or an activity idea, a daytime activity, a nighttime activity. And it's all different age ranges that you could go from. Um, and it's not that you do everything. You just pick one thing that you think your family would enjoy doing and incorporate that in there and then even it gives you like discussion like ideas on talking about some things that happen in the movies because usually in most movies you got like your um you know your storyline where something bad happens right and then they work through it somehow so opening up those lines of communication with your kids like what did you think about this what would you do if you were in that situation um and getting those lines of communication open with your with your kids is a whole nother powerful tool yeah so there's all different types that of ways that you can you can have fun with this uh as you were saying that we do have on the website on our website in enjoying the moment Dot com. Uh, we do have a, a movie blog 
that has all these ideas. She has those on Pinterest and just things that we've done in the past. So take them, use them, they're free. <laughs> you know, yes. if, if maybe you don't have that creativity or you're like, ah, it seems like a lot of work, then just go grab one of those or look at the ones that we've done and be like, oh, that'd be a fun one and, and take that idea. And then you can go do that with your own family or maybe that might spark some other ideas. So that that's just some, some resources we have there free for you and your family. Just something we love doing. And so we anything that we do, we love writing and sharing and things of like that just to help, you know, our, our heart of course is for all families mm -hmm. just to be more intentional together and have fun doing it. The, the, this is fun stuff. We would actually enjoy it, you know, when we'd enjoy the time together and we had our kids actually looking forward to doing them. and. And, you know, and, and our kids now, they're older and they were kind of, sometimes they were, had been moved out and sometimes they were still here. And if, if they were away and we'd have the invitation, hey, we're doing a movie night this night, they'd be calling, hey, when is it? And, you know, so that, you know, there, there was that excitement. Yeah. And just to encourage you too on that, because we did go through a season where we, where we weren't able to do it as much. And as a mom, as your kids are growing older, I was just talking to a friend today, and it's like, as your kids are growing older, and they're starting to pull away, because now they want to hang out with their friends more, they have a job, or they're going to school, <clears throat> all of this stuff, and you don't get to have that same kind of quality time together, and it's like, what can you do? And so, I remember my heart was just like wanting to create something that we could all come together, but our schedules were all so all over the place and hectic, and... So I would just throw out this invitation and Randall had to encourage me in that. Like, look, just throw out the invitation. If they can come, they can come. If they can't come, they can't come. Just, and who will enjoy the ones that are here. So whichever kids showed up. But what we found is if we could just find something, like for us, we've picked Sunday nights. Um, and we had started this a while back and then we went through a season where we couldn't do it again. So we're just like bringing back these Sunday nights. So our kids know that we are going to have a meal planned and food and, a, you know, just family time for them on a Sunday night. And then just telling them like, hey, you want to invite your girlfriend? You know, she's more than welcome. You want to invite your best friend? Let them come over too. Um, and they might come this week and they might not be able to come. But you have that invitation out there and they know that that's a day set aside. So if their schedule is so busy or they're just um, at that stage of their life where family isn't as important to <laughs> them. What? Yeah, it happens. It's so weird. It happens, but you can still use that quality time um, with the ones that are there. Would you like to have more peace in your home? Even see your family relationships grow stronger together? What if I told you there are three key ingredients that every blended family needs to know so we can have more peace in our home and build those stronger relationships with each other? Hey, this is Randall and Scarlett here. Being a blended family for almost 15 years, we've seen and learned a lot through our journey. And we know it can provide you with a shortcut so you can get through or even avoid some of those issues. There are so many blessings from being in a blended family, but there also can be a lot of heartache and challenges. This gives you the chance to get the blessings quicker by knowing how to get through the challenges faster. We feel called to share what we've learned with you, so we're offering a three-part video series. And right now, it's absolutely free to all our listeners. No cost to you. We just want to say thank you and give you the opportunity to grab this before we do start charging in the near future. We know the power that's in it for your blended family and the added peace it can bring to your home. So don't let this opportunity to get it for free right now pass you by. We're going to start charging for it very soon. The link for the Blended Family 3 key ingredients is in the show notes below. But remember, Blended Family's rule. So go be fam. Many blessings to you and your family. Now back to the episode. Yeah, so it's, it's just having that open invitation. That, that's, that's key because, yeah, it... it Whenever they do get older, it's they're sometimes they're in it, sometimes they're not. And, but even you know, th this is just something fun. You know, no matter where you're at with your family, this can be something you start making as part of your family culture. To where, as your kids are growing up, this is just something that y'all have that y'all have created as as your blended family and something you're doing together. So that that's kind of the cool part is you get to start making this y'all's thing. 
So, and whatever that looks like for you. So there's all different kinds of ideas. There's all different kinds of movies. Everybody likes different things. So that's the cool thing is you can just kind of pick one or pick a couple and you can do it once a month, maybe once a week, who knows, you know, whatever, yeah. you know, maybe you like this and, and your family likes to stick with it or, or that's just another tool in your tool shed or tool <laughs> in the tool belt that goes in the tool that shed, in the tool shed. <laughs> that, that is there for you to use and, and y'all just pull that out and keep it in rotation or and it's one of those things that you might think like nah not my kids especially like your older kids or your teenage kids but I remember with my son like him like looking forward to it or like pri like just kind of a proud of like hey inviting his girlfriend over because um, it was something different. It was out of the box that not all families do, but it was something that we were doing. So just give it a try. Yeah, yeah. Give it a try. You, you, you'll have fun. Like we said, just having that theme uh, part of it, that just adds that extra spice and that intentionality. That makes yeah. it really fun. And, and it is something that everybody starts jiving with, right? And they're like, hey, this is kind of cool. This is, yeah. you know, this is cool. So, so yeah, no, fun, fun ideas. So that is there. Uh, we'll put maybe in the show notes, we'll link to that blog uh, or to that section in our website to where you can go and maybe a shortcut just so you can look and kind of see what we were doing and use it, use yeah. it. Or let that spark up another creative idea for you. Maybe that's like, oh, you know what? We could do this or we could do that. You know, maybe you, you're so like, let me do outside stuff. movie night or something, you know. And, and yeah, that's where... one of the things we're going to be trying here pretty soon is the outdoor movie night. Um, but yeah, and like even just some of your favorite classics from when when you were in high school or you were growing up or even home movies. Um, like that's a whole nother thing. Oh, okay, bringing, yeah, that's big too. Bring in your home movies. Yeah. We really enjoyed um, doing that yeah. as a family, putting some of those on. I introduced uh riley to blazing saddles y'all and that was fun that was fun yeah so yeah yeah oh. yeah she she had never seen blazing saddles and so uh she she got to see a new side there of some some comedy and <laughs> i don't even think i know well <laughs> you, you you were like in it and then you bailed so so yeah <laughs> it's, it, if anyone knows blazing saddles it's funny i was you probably the, out of town you got the big fart scene and everything and it, it's just it's so hilarious but you know probably probably not not the best of movies but <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the things is yeah like trying to find something that's like clean still yeah. with your kids that that is kind of the thing too whenever you look back at these movies that you used to watch as a kid and then you go rewatch and you're like oh dang that was in there i didn't even notice that and mm -hmm. it's kind of like some of the songs we used to listen to it's like oh this song's about that and it's like oops sorry close your eyes kids so, i forgot that this so yeah here. disclosure disclaimer you may want to kind of brief over that movie before you bring all your kids into it because it may not be exactly what you had thought it was when you watched it when you were younger so yeah so yeah. yeah so that, that's kind of one of those but maybe you're just something. exposing them in a safe yeah, environment. So. I don't know. Yeah. Everybody's different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So whatever fits your family and your family dynamics. But that is a fun way of being intentional and have fun with the food and the meals and the, the you know, if you run to the dollar store and go spend 10 bucks or something to buy a little extra flavor. That yeah, you're I mean, doing. you're going to eat already. So you're going to mm -hmm. have the food part already. So now it's just like adding a little something to spice it up a little bit to make it go with the theme and yeah. you can the dollar tree you go in there with 10 bucks you can come out with nine items so, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah fun stuff fun stuff so there it is movie themed nights who would have thunk yeah. it who would have thunk it who would have thunk it <laughs> So right. there it is. That's the one for this week. So maybe take that idea. Maybe y'all talk about it over the weekend and, and hey, go try it out. See what you think. And comment, you know, give us some Tell comments. Tell us some yeah. movie ideas. Like what do you want to, like maybe you don't want to come up with all the ideas. So you're like, here you go, Scarlett. You figure this one out yeah. for us. Send us a movie idea. And Email we'll, us. Catch us on social. Let us we'll know how it goes. We'll make it into a movie night for you. Yeah, yeah. It'll be fun. So awesome. All right, bye Good guys. topic. We'll see y'all on the next episode of, of FF Nation. Is it going to stick? 
No. no? All right. All right. No. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try, I'll try later. Don't forget to enjoy <laughs> the moment, though. Don't forget to enjoy the moment. Bye, guys. We'll Bye. see you. Hey, thanks for joining us for another fun Friday here at Enjoying Your Blended Family. All the links we talked about today are in the show notes. And if you enjoyed listening, be sure to subscribe because it's free and it lets you know when we have another episode out for you to listen to. And if you don't mind helping us out so we can start reaching more people, leave us a rating and review. You never know when we'll give you a shout out. Until next time, have fun being intentional and remember to enjoy the moment.